part of the issue is we're on a telescope that's actually got very, very precise optics so we can see totality. So it's actually a little brighter than normal, so the telescope is kind of getting blown out a little bit. Oh, there we go. And that's the last little rim of the sun uh, with one of our hydrogen alpha telescopes, We're greatly in focus. And uh, boy, that's that's quite an arc there. Oh wow. wow! We've moved free. The cloud is free. Now, if we can get that white light telescope focused in, yeah, I can looking looking by eye. I can see that. Uh, that it, last little edge. It's still actually early to use the unaided white light telescope, no. so we'll get to that as soon as we get to totality. It's set to really see all of the effects, like the corona and everything, at the moment of maximum darkness. So it's it's still, it's just ever so slowly moving, but I and I think we're clear of that cloud, which is quite exciting. Boy, that was that was something. The color out here is getting really dark. It's kind of this spooky color of light. Uh, we know the cloud isn't in front of the sun now, but it's actually dark out here. Yeah, it, it really feels strange. I wonder what the light color is, the color temperature is right now. Oh. Let me check here. Okay. I can still read my meter, but barely. There it is. There it is in white light in focus. We got that edge of the sun. Boy, this is... Uh... <laughs> We're down to about 40 foot candles. Okay, just a tiny edge of the sun showing. The color temperature is about 56 degrees. Oh, it's really dark. 5600 degrees. The the crowd is actually being very excited, dancing around. Okay, here it comes. We have that. We have that diamond ring. Huh. A really nice diamond ring. And I see Mercury and Venus. The corona is reaching out away from the sun. Oh, it's really gorgeous. There are streamers coming out from the sun. Um, we have uh, a, like maybe four major streamers coming out uh, like a spider out in the sky. And the amazing thing is that we have this dark circle in the middle, in the middle of the sky. And around us, it's like sunset all the way around us in this circle. Oh, here, here we go. We've got, got the corona. You can see on the right side of our image some of the, the lines of the magnetic field reaching out from around the sun in, in that corona. So, uh, oh, there it is. There are some of the lines in the magnetic field in the corona. Oh, there's some bright places there around the rim. Oh, look at that. At, 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 there, there's the, uh, the prominence, the bright prominence in the bottom, in the upper right corner of this. Oh, my eyes are adapting now, and I can see more detail in that corona. Although I can't see that uh, prominence that the telescope is picking up. It's oh, amazing. It just go. seems like there's a black hole in the sky where the moon is covering the sun, almost like someone drilled a hole into the sky. And I, I see it's actually beginning to brighten up towards the west. What's amazing is we have a 360 degree sunset. The sky is actually like sunset 360 degrees around us. I've never seen anything quite like that. Well, there we have some detail in the telescopes. You can see the magnetic field of the sun guiding that corona out into space. We're panning all the way around to get you a close up of the details here. It's just this amazing thing where magnetism becomes visible in the sky. Oh, there it is. Here it comes. Here it comes.